Hello, hello, it is Jenny, your Vintage Soul Crafter. Thank you so very much for tuning into my channel. And if you have been watching this series where I have been repurposing this vintage baby book, um, I thank you for following along. I hope you have subscribed and given me a thumbs up. And if you have not yet commented with questions, suggestions, thoughts, whatever it is, please do so. I would love to hear from you. You guys, I... Can I just tell you how excited I am to share this? I, I, because I need to, I need to. I'm, I so need to, I wanna put my face right there. Um, I'm so excited. You know, I think there's like three, three to four phases of creating um, when you sit down to do a project. Well, okay, maybe there's five. There is the thought, there is the vision, there's the, I wanna do this. And I got a lot of, I wanna do this in my head. And this, this baby book, baby books, I should say plural, because I will be making at least another boy one and another girl one. This one is not, this one is boy girl neutral. Um, but I have been collecting and holding on to and looking for and, you know, these baby books, these vintage baby books for a while now. They are so precious to me, so sweet, adorable. There just aren't enough nice sugary words to to describe how I feel about them. It's babies, I mean, come on. But in addition to that, um, yeah, okay, back to it, sorry. There's, did I mention I'm 52? So the mind wanders sometimes, keep up, I'm sorry. If you can't keep up, that's okay, you can hit the rewind button, that's the beauty of YouTube. Anywho, there's probably five, so there's that. I have this vision, I have this desire. Oh, and by the way, if you hear noise in the background, our water heater broke this week. Like, husband went out to his workshop, AKA garage, and there was a flood, and mold had already started, and so we have a carpenter here because things have to be repaired before the water new water heater can go back in, so yeah. Um, okay, so phase one, I wanna do this, I wanna create this. Phase two, how do I do it? Sitting down, doing it, and at that moment, it's like, oh, yeah, I don't know about this. Okay, park on that for just a moment on phase one and phase two, and then I will get back to, hopefully, phase three through five. If I don't, please comment and remind me, okay? Because it's important. I've been considering this, and I really want to share it, but I don't want to sit here for five minutes talking to you when this little thing this little beauty is sitting in front of us and I so want to share it with you guys because in phase three or no phase four probably it's like that's the phase when I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this I don't know if this is gonna turn out I don't know this is ugly it's not gonna work it's not gonna come together that's phase four I'll go back to phase three and I will finish with phase five I'm in phase five right now actually okay so I'll go back to phase three I'm in phase five right now phase five is you either hate it it was not a success or you love it, you're happy, you're excited about it. I am excited about this. And believe me, I went through a phase four. I was not sure, I had some hiccups, I had some issues, but in the end, I stuck with it and I I love this. I would love to own this, but it's gonna be listed in my Etsy store. So if you or someone you know is gonna have a baby, they may or may not know the sex of the baby, it doesn't really matter, it's a baby. This is primarily for a mom to journal in. Yes, it is fat. It is not the kind, like my sister suggested, that you tuck away into your purse. So I figured I might as well decorate the front of it too because it's already too, too uh, chunky to put into a purse. Uh, it could get messed up. But I, I, there was nothing in here that I wanted to take out. It, it all went together. I rearranged the signatures a little bit, but there was nothing in here that I wanted to take out. So got the seam binding ribbon. This seam binding ribbon goes all the way under the cover, all the way around, and then it is also um, sewn right here just for an added bit of security but it goes into the fabric and all the way around, so it is not going anywhere. I hand dyed this with that seafoam green, the same that I used on the um, trim right here, and then it also has just some cream. I love it, I just, it's so, uh, 
it's 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 a lovely color I would never paint my house this color again I have in the past but I wouldn't anymore but I but it's still it works for this and then the front I really want to point out and hopefully this won't be too long um, I really want to point out all of the things as much as I can that have been repurposed because this is probably 98 percent ish repurposed reusing using what I already have and or um, items that I found in my Goodwill Hall estate sales or at the antique fair. The antique fair is the baby book. And then I, I can't remember. As I remember, I will share with you where things came from. But um, anyway, added these buttons. My good friend Bonnie and I were just discussing that we don't we don't really like to fuss up the front of our junk journals or um, altered books too much. But I just really, there was so much going on down here with the added confetti that I put in that I really, I really thought. And then in an earlier video, I think it was the last bit video, I said, nothing, nothing says baby better than a button. And I really, I, I continue to believe that. Sorry for the glare, but I want you to just see. It says, welcome baby. And, and then the piece de resistance perhaps is this little adorable foot booty shoe charm it's a little blingy so it says girl it's got shoelaces and it's this gorgeous aqua marine and so it says boy it, it doesn't say either and just went for a regular old uh, Ba um, what do they call those? Yeah, you know, one of those little pins. I had the name in there earlier, but I couldn't think of it. It'll come back to me. And then it's attached to this little tidbit. These buttons are all just sewn on, tied on really, um, to the trim. I didn't want to glue them down because if something comes off, I didn't want it to ruin the whole book. And so I did not glue them down. All right, the back is simply the fabric and then it is it has two signatures so very neat and tidily it has i don't know if you can see the embroidery floss which i have this whole thing of embroidery floss that i got for like three dollars beautiful colors in a plastic storage bin at our local goodwill okay see you probably hear all that noise sorry but i just couldn't wait to do this i want to get it done and uploaded and then i'm going to be um busy for the next several days by the way this little booty I got a booty speaking of booty I got this big old bag at an estate sale that I went to recently and I started to pick out ones that I wanted and then I thought the lady bunches things so basically the more you buy the less expensive it's gonna be so I just thought I'm taking the whole tray I will use those and what I don't use I will sell on my Etsy store this has little high heel shoes in it and baby booties it is full of goodness okay let's go in so again the inside cover though it is thick it will lay flat once it's not stiff it's stiff from you know the gluing and the preparation the inside cover I didn't know how this was going to work but it is the vintage wrapping paper I love it and you have seen a lot of these pages already so I won't spend too terribly much time on them but we will go we will go through them and the baby booties match the little footies that are on each and every page in some way shape or form got this little tuck-in spot this is out of one of the vintage uh, magazines that I have that I've shown and then I used what was left of the clear acetate and put that in here so that um, it didn't cover up the picture but mom could put something in there this is a cotton swab old 1950s ad and then the other one on the outside is called bringing up baby hints collected by mrs. Dan Gerber mother of five so that's the you know the Gerber baby in an article by the mrs. Gerber didn't know there was a mrs. Gerber but now I do um, I had posted on Instagram how I love, it delights me no end, that I can use, and you'll see them throughout here, including on the cover, the little bits and pieces, just the little things that you think should be thrown away. I love that they can be sewn on for little tabs and made into something like this tag here. 
made into something that's fun and adorns the page just that much more. So this is a, a blank page. Yes, I did leave a couple pages blank. Not too many. This is the bag, which right now I tucked in some of those uh, stickers that mom can use. I can clap, I can kick, I can stand. And she doesn't have to, you know, unless she wants to. Obviously this is for a journaling mom. I love this little page and it has that other seal, not a seal that barks, a seal like you put on the outside of an envelope. And this is a little sock patch, a little child sock patch. So I love that. Moving on, this is the uh, inside envelope that I said I would have to do last. I'm gonna have to consult with some experts about this because I, I did what I understood you were supposed to do, but I could not get all the way to the end on the sewing machine because you can't do it until the signature is put together. And then you have to um, feed it in, but I, I couldn't bend this, this book all the way backwards. So, and then this paper, I am gonna have to reinforce it with some washi tape because it's so delicate, it's so old that it, it did start to tear as I was sewing it. So no worries, that is completely still usable and good and it is an envelope that mom can stick some goodies in. Moving on, this is uh, a little card that's from one of those children's play cards and it says, winter's a snap for baby bear, sound asleep in a cozy lair. So I thought that was adorable, tucked into that little pocket fold right there. Again, we have more of the stickers. I slept all night. My first smile, I can laugh. And those are in the baggie here. And hello, darling. Nice little collage here. Love it, love it. Very sweet. This is the pocket that says take note. I have had these tags, you'll see another one later on, forever and I am thrilled when I can use things effectively and this is just a little pocket for a tag. I didn't stick tags in every single thing because mom can do that herself. And then this is the end of the first signature and it says hello, basically hello my baby precious, welcome into the world, saying hello to your new one. And this is the other side of the vintage ad and article from Mrs. Gerber. And again, another one of those little tags, so sweet, love it. And then into the second signature. So you can see, this is it is doable to journal in this. Definitely, you know, it will lay. And again, as it's opened and opened and opened more and the glue kind of gives way a little bit from uh, assembling it all together, um, it will be more pliable. So another little pocket, it says lovely day on this tag. And on the back, it's just blank and mom can fill that in little button, little doily, a little blue, a little pink, a little turquoise, some trim again, that cute, cute kitty cat, one of those little like trading cards or tea cards, and one of Ward's bits from his, his uh, book of yumminess and cards and so forth. And then this is a page from one of the other um, baby books. It says my growth record and it has age, weight, height, so mom can Fill those in if she would like to. And this says my talents on this side. And again, she can fill those in if she so desires. And if not, it's just stinking cute. Another little tab, the little footies down here, punch through. And then this was my one that I shared with that cute little seal. I love that. Again, not a barking seal, just a seal. And this, these, um, I think there's one a little later on that says we because we are now a we, a we baby and a we together. So I clipped that on there and could put a little ribbon on if, if you know, wanted. It's not like this, uh, this baby journal is, is void of ribbons and, and stuff, which is why it's so fat and chunky. Welcome baby, little card right here that tucks into this spot and then clips on with one of these old vintage um, like chart, medical chart clips. 
more of the stickers, my first words, my first step, my first tooth. I don't know which usually comes first. I think my first words, probably. Because, you know, they start to say mama or dada or no or whatever. Um, this is that little list and a little tuck spot that mom can use. Take note, various different things. Maybe she's sitting out at the park. I don't know, with a mom's group, whatever it might be. Another... Um, Another one of those tags that I'm so happy to be able to use that says picture perfect on it. And then this is the one that unfolds and then unfolds again with this little uh, planner acetate, uh, oops, sorry, um, pocket right here. And then she could also put something in here as well if she wanted to. Again, another little goodie right here of the bits and pieces left over. And then this, oh, I haven't, I haven't sewn this one yet. So this is what it looks like. This is what I mean. That's actually probably good that it's not. This is what I mean. This is the center of the signature. So you can't sew this pocket up until you have that center signature. So I probably chose a paper, since this is from one of the oldest of the baby books, that's, um, that's pretty brittle. Uh, yeah, so I, I will probably reinforce with, um, it says forget me not, so I thought it would make a good envelope that mom could stick things in. And I did do on both of them this little area right here of the border trim, and then this right here so that it would be easier for her to, um, you know, reach in or, or find the opening of the tuck spot of the envelope, is what I'm trying to say. Sometimes talking can be so hard. Has anybody else experienced that? So the, the stage number three, phase number three, which is the one I, I, I passed over. Stage number one, you have an idea, you have a vision, you have a thought about doing something, a dream. Stage number two, you sit down, you begin it. You've collected your items, you have the things you know that you want or that you need, and you sit down and you start somewhere. It can be at the end, it can be at the beginning, it can be at the middle, but you just start creating something. Four, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if it's going to happen. I am, this isn't working. I'm making mistakes. Stage number five, you love it or you hate it or eh, take it or leave it. Stage number three is the whole like most of what I shared, creative process, putting it together. You come in here, you do a little bit. You come in here, you sit for a couple hours. You come in here, nothing. It's just that in between. So I would say probably about five stages, five phases of the creative process. That is what my non-PhD in art and creativity is. It's, it's my story. I'm sticking to it. It is my final answer. So there you have it. Okay, moving along and more journaling space. This is another envelope here that unfolds and of course mom can tuck something in there if she would like and then it has this sweet card that comes out that says today is going to be awesome. Shared that before. That tucks back in there and the back of that is blank as well. And then another one of those. I, I opted not to go with um, the rubberized paper clips because I remembered I had these really fun uh, metal and it was the right color this kind of mauvey sort of pink that brings out the the card and flipping that over this was just lace and I felt like it needed something it needed something so I added some of this um, border trim again I'm so glad that I kept this border trim I almost got rid of it I thought I'm not gonna do any more baby stuff ha huh. because I had done baby stuff a while back for a good friend of mine. Hi Glenda, if you see this, hello. Back to doing baby things. And so I, I almost got rid of it and I'm so glad I didn't because it has been really, really handy and I have more of it and I may or may not use it. This is the little vintage flash card that says keep and I think that is appropriate for keeps. Keep, you know, or keep things or keep mementos, whatever. And then this is a piece of the confetti this little cute owl was the perfect yellow and blue and just fun, you know, to add on to that. And again, little bits and pieces. This little blue string 
piece of thread right here is actually from one of the cards. I think it was from that card earlier. Um, the one that says baby with the little rattle that's in the, and it had, you know, like a little, little thread tassel on it. And um, yeah, I, I held on to it because it was the right color blue. And I thought, you never know, I might, I might be able to use that. So I'm glad I did because it looks like the little owl, you know, is kind of gathering nesting material. So yeah. And then I love this too, little tuck, tuck spot up, little, little bit, tuck spot up here. ABCs is another little card I've been holding on to. If mom really wanted to, she could tuck something down in here too. The last little bit of remnant that I had from the front cover. And this opens up and for jotting little things down in. And then we have our last set of, I can roll over, I can sit up, I can crawl. And so I put those in there. And then this is also one of my little favorite elements. There's a lot of favorite elements in this, honestly, but the ones that kind of, you know, when you think I'm never gonna be able to come up with another creative thing for this journal again, when you're in like phase, is that phase four did I say? Phase four, stage four. Um, and, and then something happens. So I had these rub-ons, again, had them forever. Hashtag has my heart and this, um, a uh, little, you know, die cut doodad thingy. And it's a three dimensional little heart, kind of hard to see. But anyway, just assembled this, this little collage and put a bit of vintage lace underneath that and stitched it together and, and whatnot. And so I cut this, you know, half of part of this off and you may see the rest of that in another book. But anyway, love that, love that. And then again, this is that, I think this is the little card that that blue string was on and I stuck this perfect fit from Pretty Kitty on here. And so that goes in there. And then there's another little tag with the little footies and remnants. And this is the other part of that blue paper. I think I told you that, <laughs> you know, it's uh, it's silly, the things that, that, I, that I love. And I know I'm not alone because this is why we love this stuff. There's the other half of that old baby book part that has really cute... Um, picture of a couple little babies right here, a little boy and little girl. And then this is the last page of this, of this book, and I thought it was appropriate for it to say, Our Story. And another little, you know, just to dress it up, another little bit right there. And then the final, there's a little envelope here, but once I finished, uh, I, I'm actually going to sew this down and it can be another tuck spot if mom wants it to. But once I finished, actually, I was so anxious to do this, I forgot to sew a couple of things, but no worries. I can go back, still have a machine, can still do that. Once I finished this, I, I realized, so probably not the best thing to put an envelope on the end of a signature because it's too hard to get inside of of the envelope to tuck things in. It just it just doesn't work. And I could cut this away, I suppose, but yeah, I just opted to um, you know, to put this other little card here and make a tuck spot since that's what it was. And then this is that this says genuine and this is that other tag that was part of a set that I have had for a very, very long time. So this is the back, as you can see. I may I may go ahead and put some uh, corners. I have some leftover corner fabrics. If you have thoughts on it, um, pieces of fabric, I was thinking that maybe I could, you know, I just, I don't know. I just thought maybe it would help protect the corners a little bit. I'm not worried about the outside, but um, with the with the vintage wrapping paper, it is it is really stuck, but you know, anything over time and use, I don't know, nothing is, nothing is 100%. Huh as we know as we repair our hot water heater along